hello welcome to quantitative reasoning section and today we have quantitative reasoning from book 5 lantern step page 98 welcome to this channel to our subscribers thank you for joining in today if you're viewing for the first time kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning and maths solutions thank you all right, so we have this problem before us. We have one, four, three, two. Here we have six, seven, five, eight. Here we have five, two, three, and six. So we're going to solve. All right, so looking at this problem, we have uh, one plus four, five, three plus two is five which means both sides are equal, right? 6 plus 7, 13. 5 plus 8, 13. And here we have 5 plus 3, 8. 2 plus 6, 8. So looking at this, we can rightly say that this side and this side are equal, right? So we can, uh, we can work with it. So 1 plus 4 is 5 and... 3 plus 2 is also 5. Okay, so using this, we can find um, any of the numbers. So to find to find 1, let's start with 1, and have 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 minus 4, that's this 4, is 1. Okay, to find, find 4, we can do the same. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 minus 4. 5 minus 1 equals 4. To find 3, we have 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. To find 2. We have 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we can also apply the same principle here and see how it goes. So 5 plus 3 equals 8. 2 plus 6 is also 8. So to find 5... Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So to find 5, we're going to add 2 to 6 and we have 8. And 8 minus 3 is 5. To find 3, we have 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. To find 2, we're going to have 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. And lastly, to find 6, we're going to have 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. All right. Hope you got this. Do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning and mathematics problem. Bye.